Why does it feel like I'm not facing? Wow, okay, I guess I'll have to do it this way. No, I'm not skipping tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. Mechanized combat leg. Basically, the goal is to kill the other person. I so. Hey, welcome to the team. One second and I'll be right with you. Thanks for waiting. This guy is one of our biometric scanners. He's just going to record some data to complete your profile. I've been looking at your stats. Your last season as a semi-pro was outstanding, but this is the big league. Time to really show what you can do. I'm your chief engineer. Uh, it says chief, chief. For short. The team and I will maintain your He's crew. optimal performance. You Run know how I know? Exercises, provide yeah. tactical information during a match. Everything you need to be a winner. Woo, winner. First, there are some formalities we need to go through to bring you up to speed. We've prepped a test rig so we can set it up just how you like it. Sound good? Let's get started then. The pinnacle of Exo Engineering. It's tougher, faster, and a whole lot meaner than the hardware you're used to. This is a Hunter-class chassis. She might seem small compared with other rig types you'll encounter, but she's got it where it counts in terms of speed and maneuverability. She's but I like with slower, clunky things. Reloading assault cannons. These are the most advanced sticks on the market, giving you hair trigger control over movement and firing. She has state of the art servos and actuators throughout her chassis, allowing her to cope with any terrain. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Okay, time to get you on board, I think. Let's get her in position. I'm just going to call in a drone to lift you into the rig. Ah, here it comes now. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Are you sitting comfortably? Yeah. Great. Then let's power up your head. You could wait till I answer. So we can get started. You're up and running. We're going to start by aligning your rig's aiming lasers. Entering calibration mode now. Turn your head to aim your lasers at the center of the target until it lights up. Uh, I tried. Good. Next position now. Oh, with my head. Okay, I get it. Yep, that's good. Good. Okay, everything's looking good on my end. Now it's time to have some fun. Let's move on to some target practice. I'm loading the target range. Why do I feel like I'm about to get beamed? Each rig has two weapons. You can fire just one at a time or both together. Fire your right weapon now and destroy these targets. Oh, give me a target. Great. Now take out these targets with your left weapon. Superb. 
Remember you can fire both weapons at the same time. Squeeze those triggers. Okay. Watch the ammo counters at the sides of your HUD. Your weapons will reload automatically when not firing. Good. Let's get back to reality. I don't Next, like reality. I'll remove your rig's rotation lock, and we'll practice turning your rig about. Here's the drone again. Same deal as before, but this time, your rig will turn to face the drone as you look toward it. I can't touch Keep it. Keep your aiming lasers trained on the target. I don't want to. I'm busy. I'm standing very awkward. Oh, cool. It actually tracks the body. Look. Okay, to the left. Yup. Over to the right now. Back to center. Good stuff. Now, let's get your eye in with some more target practice. Loading the range again. Good work. automatically steers in the direction to which you are looking. Your rig has an alternate control method where you manually turn using the right stick. Would you like to try this manual method of turning or carry on with the head mode? Okay, I've switched your control style over. The drone's back. Look at the hollow target as you did before. Okay, to the left. I actually think I like the other way better. Over to the right now. Gently does it.
Yeah, I like the other way better. Nearly done. Good stuff. Here's the target range again. Take down all the targets now. That's the way. Nice work. Good work. So, do you want to continue using this method of turning, or go back to the head turn method? Very good. You can change your control style in your options menu at any time. Now it's time to stretch those servos. Turn to face the exit door. I thought I'd join you in another hunter rig. I'll be running the course with you, demonstrating some of the exercises and keeping you company. Okay, unlocking your leg servos now. Follow me. We'll be at a reduced speed until we get into the arena. We run routine diagnostics on various rig chassis in here. Check it out. Meet me on the elevator when you're ready. I don't even notice it. I'm noticing more the... It keeps changing angle on me. No, no, not that. The the whole... All of that. Yeah, because see, it... Okay, I think I know what it's doing now. What am I supposed to do? Board the elevator when I'm, I'm, I'm on the elevator, aren't I? Guess I was. This is our test arena, where we'll carry out the rest of your training. You'll be able to return here later to try out new rigs. I'm initializing your tracking system. There's a radar and a map version. You can toggle between them in the options menu. Once we start moving about the arena, you may want to try the alternate steering method. You can do that in your options menu as well. Okay, here we are. I'll be spawning in pickups and targets for you to collect and destroy. Let's start with something basic. I've spawned a handful of pickups around the arena floor. Go hunt them down now. I've locked your jump capability for the time being. Use your radar to locate the pickups if you can't find them. Pretty much. Except you're doing it mostly with your head. These small tunnels are only accessible by the Hunter and Tempest rig classes. Use them for cover to make sneak attacks 
or take shortcuts around the arena. Good. Okay, here's the next round of pickups. I've added some targets to the mix as well. Shoot them down. You can use your rig's melee attack for a small burst of speed. Just press R3. Wow. Oh, there's targets. That'll do. Good job. Now I'll unlock your rig's jump capability. Here's the next round of pickups. You'll have to jump to get these pickups, or you can shoot the targets instead if you prefer. Is there a double jump? If you jump from a ramp, your rig will pick up some extra height. You can use your melee boost in the air to gain some extra distance with your jumps. Try. Ah, crap, missed. No, you're supposed to give me an extra boost up. Okay, well, I guess that lied. I've unlocked your dodge capability. Give it a try. What's dodge? Come over to me and we'll continue.
He did say come to him, right? something very important. Your rig's power modes. Your rig features a power distribution system, which allows you to instantly change between turbo mode, impact mode, or repair mode. Turbo mode increases the movement speed of your rig. Impact mode increases the offensive power of your weapons, and repair mode engages your auto repair systems. Give it a try. Taking down three opponents will automatically engage overdrive for a short time. When in overdrive, all three power modes are active simultaneously. I think you're ready for some combat now. Come and get me. Oh, I got you. To deploy back into the arena, Highlight a relaunch point on the map using your left stick, then press cross to confirm. The map will also show tactical information like the location of your teammates, visible opponents, and game-specific objectives. Switch to impact mode to deal more damage with your weapon. Good job! Did I get him? You can use your turbo mode to chase me down. You've taken some damage. Heal up your rig with your repair power mode. Oh, no problem. What is he hitting me with? Am I, what am I missing here? Is there a melee button or something? Oh, that's burst. Yeah, but he keeps meleeing me. If he can do it, I should be able to do it.
<laughs> yeah, I learned your trick. Okay, stand down. You'll have noticed that when a rig is taken down, the pilot is ejected into the air. By default, your rig masks your view as you eject and redeploy. But I want to show you what it's like without the mask on. Okay, here we go. To deploy, turn your head towards a relaunch point on the ground, then press cross to confirm. You want to leave the ejection mask turned off? Keep the ejection mask disabled. No? All right. You can customize your rig's comfort settings in your options menu at any time. All right, that wraps up our training. You're ready to fight in the arenas. I've put the arena into practice mode. It'll be like this whenever you return from now on. Meet me back on the elevator when you're ready to leave. Oh, you can't jump sideways. Failed. Okay. You did good, champ. Look forward to seeing you in a real match. Yay! interface for everything. You'll be using it a lot to further your career. The rigs you can see on the tablet are the basic rigs, including the Hunter you've just taken out for a spin. There are four classes of rigs, and you can select each one from this screen. Why don't you try changing your class now? class has a unique profile, which changes how it handles and performs. If you'd like, you can take your currently active rig into the test arena to get used to its special movement abilities. Sentinel. 
This monster packs a mean melee attack and can soak up a lot of damage. Despite its size, the Sentinel is capable of an extremely powerful vertical jump. To use it, press and hold your jump button to charge, then release. The longer you charge the jump, the higher you'll go. If you charge your jump to its max, the Sentinel will cause a shockwave when it impacts with the ground. just the basic rigs. If you scroll up, you see that there are more advanced rigs, each with a specific weapon loadout and special ability. You'll need these to be competitive. All of these rigs are more powerful than the basic rigs, but you'll have to earn credits to purchase them. To get you started, we've deposited some in your account. When you're ready, pick your first rig. Remember, you can always try out each of the classes using the basic rigs before you commit. Do 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 wah, wah. The Tempest. The Tempest's primary ability is to boost up and glide around in the air, giving it a real advantage in any outdoor situation. To get in the air as a Tempest, press and hold your jump button. Your Tempest will accelerate upward until you let go, or after maximum height is reached. While in the air, you can glide around using the movement controls. To disengage your engines and drop out of the air, tap your jump button.
I can fly. I hear what sounds like cookies. What time is it? The Mirage. This rig is a good all-rounder, able to easily get around the arena. It's capable of a secondary boost in the air, a double jump. Just hit your jump control again whilst in the air to use it. I might have to take an eyeball break. No, your eyes. Uh, actually, it's fogging up my glasses that I can't see crap. But I'm not getting the motion sickness. Of course, I've not been in a combat situation yet either. What does that make a difference? There are more advanced rigs, each with a specific weapon loadout and special ability. You'll need these to be competitive. Well, the one I'm probably going to go for is this one. Gotta uh, take it out for another run. You didn't get to see this one, did you? What about that one? Okay, that's this one. That's the default. That's the hunter one you start with. And then that is, according to the dude, the all-arounder. I, I mean, it wasn't, didn't feel like it was anything special. Uh, this one can jump up and glide around. This guy is um, supposedly beastly when it comes to armor and stuff. And he's got a, a super jump. I just got to get used to using it. to purchase them. To get you started, we've deposited some in your account. When you're ready, pick your first rig. Remember, you can always try out each of the classes using the basic rigs before you commit. Oh, that's cool. It's not fair, but it's cool.
Why would you run with that? Oh, I kind of like that. Can I actually buy this? I mean, I've got enough money. I don't know, out of all of them, I like this one. I don't know, before I make up my mind, though, I'm going to do that eyeball break. Did it stop? <laughs> 